Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about what to learn to become a full stack developer. So for this full stack developer, you are required to learn the two things. One is about the front end development. And another one is a back end development. Now, what is this front end development and what is this back end development? So, if you create any application, so there will be two things one is a front end and another one is a back end. So, coming to this front end, so this is all the visual elements. In application will comes under this front end so this is also called as interface interface or it's called as a user interface user interface because so the application will be used by the user right side so the, that is called a user interface or interface and coming to this back end back end so cannot accessed by the user by the user so the application which cannot be accessed by the user all the elements that will be developed in this backend development right so this can be accessed by the user itself so, the, so that's why this is also called as a client side application or client side development client side application or a client side development coming to here this is called server side application server side application or server side development right so this is the difference between the front end development and the back end development now in order to develop this interface in order to develop this interface so what are the technologies we need to learn and in order to develop this server side development what are the technologies we require to learn right so that we discuss before going to that so let me explain a small example so that uh, uh, you, you you will be getting clarification about what is a front end and what is a back end right see for example for example if you consider if you consider an atm right so you are supposed to go to the atm and if you want to draw some amount from the atm so First of all, you will go to the ATM and you can observe on the screen on the screen some services, right? Or it will it will prompt for the a pin, right? Enter pin, right? Enter pin and here you will be getting one text box and here you need to give the four digit pin, right? So this part is visible, right? This part is visible and after entering in the pin what happens so it will verify that the pin entered is a valid pin or not so that will be done in the server okay a server will maintain the database some database so in that database it will check okay it will check for the password whether it is correct or not the pin is correct or not if it is correct automatically a one more window will be opened with the services called a withdraw right balance check like this you will get some sort of uh, information on the window right again if you want to withdraw the amount you just click on this withdraw what happens again it will check in the database whether there is a balance or not sufficient balance or not sufficient balance or not if it is if the sufficient balance is there again it will return the amount here right so this is this happens in the atm now observe so 
whatever the elements which are visible to the user that means enter the pin the withdraw services balance check so this is called the interface this is called the interface right so this is called the front end development front end development which is visible okay after entering the pin back end it will check the pin in the database that can't be accessed by the user right so this is called the back end development so verification of a pin verification of the sufficient balance and processing if there is a balance it will send the balance i mean it will send the amount to the user okay and it will automatically debit from the balance right so all this happens in the back end all this happens in the back end so the database and the user interface okay there will be a database and the user interface and we need to process the database and we'll get the result so this process is called the front end and the back end development and if you want to become a full stack full stack developer you must be able to develop the both the front end applications and the back end applications right i think you've got a clarity so whatever the thing which is visible to the user that will be the front end right that's called a user interface that's called a user interface and here it is a server side here it is a server side so from the client side so this is called a client and this is called a server from the client side we are sending the request and the server will accept the request and it will give the response so whatever the thing on the server side that will be called as a back end development right so here so hope you got an idea about this front end and a back end you can observe here so the technology is used for uh, you i mean the technology is used to develop the front end applications are the mainly html css javascript so these three are the main things which you have to learn for front end development so by using these three we can create the user interfaces right so for html it's a normal static pages and css for uh, giving a more beautification for the elements uh, uh, displayed on the screen and javascript is for creating the dynamic pages right and apart from this you need to learn the angular angular js react js php so all these are comes under this front end development so by by using these technologies we can develop the front end application that means user interface coming to this back end development again you need a database and some application some application because so in order to access the database we required application so application will be acting as a bridge between the front end and the databases so it will get the request from the front end it will process to the database and it will give the response to the front end again so this is called the application and here you need to learn the technologies so you know that python java c sharp perl and sometimes uh, javascript also can be used for a back end applications javascript okay sometimes php is also used for the back end development so all these are the applications that means comes under the back end and also the database you need to learn the database so database mainly it is a relational database so relational database means everything the data will be organized in terms of tables okay rows and columns so all the user records will be maintained in a row wise right so here there are a lot of uh, rdbms will be there so for example you need to learn sql server sql server sql light mysql oracle so all these things comes under the databases different databases so in all these cases one thing is commonly used that is sql sql is nothing but a language which is used to work on the databases okay sql is nothing but a structured query language 
So a query will be generated in order to access the database. So if you want to insert the data, if you want to retrieve the data, if you want to manipulate the data for everything, we need to write some queries. So this SQL is a structured query language which will be used for accessing the database, working on the database for relational database management system. So all these comes under this backend development application as well as the database, right? Okay, so I hope you understood. This full stack developer is nothing but the combination of front end development and the back end development. And if you want to become a full stack developer, so you need to learn all these technologies, right? And here you can learn any tool technologies, not, uh, not to uh, learn, it's not required to learn all the technologies. So you can select one or two. So here also the same thing. So if you are having the knowledge among all these things, Definitely you'll become a full stack developer and you can start your career with a full stack developer with the highest package Right, so hope you understood uh, exactly. What is the full stack developer? Uh, 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 that's all and uh, you can start Learning this these technologies and become the full stack developer So hope you understood this one and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.